Hey folks, welcome. Boda Bob here. Today I'm going to be installing studs into the hubs of my uh, rear hubs on the tractor, my BX1850. And uh, so, in order to uh, do that, you'll need to get your tractor up in the air, supported by some jack stands, and remove the uh, rear tire. tire out of the way. The uh, size of the uh, fastener on the rear is 13 sixteenths. The uh, size of the uh, bolt that goes into the uh, hole is a one half inch 20 thread per inch fastener. And what we have, I have some Triton 03372 screw in wheel trailer studs. So I got these off Amazon. Everything I'm going to use today, except for my tools, I'm going to drop into a link or a post down below, and uh, you'll be able to find uh, all the information there. So the other tools I'm using is my impact wrench. I'm going to be using two three-quarter inch wrenches, combination wrench. I'm going to be using my a half inch with 20 threads per inch tap. We're going to have a uh, three-quarter inch socket also. So you need the studs that hold the tire on, on my tractor, have a 13 16th stud that holds the tire on. But the new setup is going to have a 3 quarter inch nut. It's a half inch 20, but the size of the uh, socket to remove it is 3 quarter inch. So we're going to use some uh, thread locker. I got Permatex here, blue, and let me, uh, I'm going to change the camera angle and let you see the processes that I take. So first thing I'm going to do is wipe off the hub. Next step I'm going to do is take my half inch tap. Really, I should have some uh, thread cutting uh, fluid. I don't have any. I'm going to center this up. And then we're going to st slowly start it, making sure that we engage the threads that are already there. And we're just going to run the tap into the hole that's already there. And what this is going to do is going to clean out any dirt that might be in the threads. It's going to clean up the threads if it was ever um, over torqued. You can feel it. You should, if you feel it getting a little tight, back it off. And then go in again. I'm not an expert at this. You can feel it cutting. And I'm going to do this to all five holes. And you'll feel it loosen up at the end. And then just back it out. We're just going to do all the holes first. And then we'll put the studs in. The threads correctly. You'll feel it. And you'll feel it if it's wrong. It'll, it'll just screw in like a thread, a, a bolt. And if it doesn't 
screw in like a bolt when it's correct to start over. To do this job, I guess you don't have to chase the threads. The wheels on this use an American size fastener. I don't know if that's uh, common in the industry. That wheels use American size. I don't know what that's all about. It'll take about three minutes to do each one. So it'll take about 15 minutes or so to clean your threads if you decide to do this. If you decide to do this to your tractor, you need to assume all the risks. I'm not telling you it's the right thing to do. It's just something I'm going to try. Okay, we're going to take our first wheel stud and I'm going to start screwing it in. Oops. Now what I'm going to do, put a little bit of thread locker on there. I'm using the blue Permatex thread locker. Now, in order to wind that thread um, the stud in what we're going to do is we're going to use two half inch nuts we're going to take our two wrenches and we're going to place one on the back nut one on the front nut and we're going to tighten them together you want to make sure these are good and tight my uh, gear wrench. I could use a socket. And we're going to tighten the stud into its location. And I have those tires blocked, but not well enough. And I'm going to screw this in. Thought I was. Once I see it stop, I'm going to stop torquing on it with the uh, impact. And that's stud number one. Okay, the last stud, Let's bring it over here, can you see that? Thread locker. Installation nuts. And 
being careful not to pinch your fingers between the wrenches. That's how it's done, folks. You'll need five 20 by, or I'm sorry, one half inch by 20 threads. And these are uh, wheel guard 1104 open acorn bulge lug nut. I will have a link in the description. You'll install the tire, torque these down, and you'll be get it ready to rock and roll. The reason you want to, uh, so the original, I don't know if you can see that. I'll take a photograph and insert it. But um, it has a cone shape here at the back of the threads. And that's what this acorn nut also does. This isn't something you have to do. If you have the, uh, the uh, dealer do all the maintenance, fine. But if you take your own uh, tires on and off and uh, do some of your own maintenance, so that's it. I'm going to throw the wheel back on, let y'all get out of here. This is Boda Bob. I want to thank you for coming by and uh, watching my video and seeing what I'm up to. And uh, we're going to get this wrapped up tonight and uh, call it a day. So thank you all very much. This is a wrap. Do me a favor. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe. Share it with a friend. And tell me what I didn't do right or what I could have done better. I appreciate all the feedback. I don't, I'm not saying I know everything. Um, I'm not saying I'm doing it the right way. So if there's something I did wrong, please let me know. Um, if you're going to do this, you need to get a torque wrench. That's another thing you can use. Um, I'm having a problem getting the uh, torque wrench to, uh, this wheel wants to keep spinning and um, not able to use the torque wrench to torque it. That's why I'm using the impact. So. If you're gonna do this, make sure you get your uh, studs torqued tight and uh, then your lug nuts torqued tight. So with that said, this is Boda Bob calling it a wrap. Cheers.